Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to do the back seat mod on these things. So in case you didn't know, um, this is a 2012 Ram 4th Gen 3 quarter ton uh, diesel. But the back seat on these does not fold down. I actually thought it did because I had them put in a uh, subwoofer. I got the leads right here. Um, I'll show you the sub. Oops, I got it facing the wrong way. But anyway, uh, this is a heavy little bugger. It's a darn nice sub though. It's a Rockford Fosgate T1. Puts out pretty darn decent bass. Um, if you had two to, two of these, that'd be, it'd be nuts. But uh, just this one does a really good job. But my point is, is I had them put in the sub and I asked them to put the amp behind the back seat because I thought that back seat would fold down, but come to find out it doesn't. And the only way right now to get that back seat down is to is to unbolt it by unbolting uh, four bolts on each side. This section here has four bolts. That section over there has four bolts. So I already undid those four bolts there so I can lift that seat up and pop it out, which I'll show you right now. Okay, hopefully you can tell, but I had to uh, lift it up and lean it forward. And there's my amp and stuff back there. It's a little small amp, but it puts out a little over a thousand RMS, which is awesome. But you got these hooks back here, there and there, which these brackets uh, slide into to hold it in place. So from other videos online, Diesel Allegiance specifically, uh, he was showing that if you cut these tabs off right at the base of the tab here, that's enough so that you're able to uh, lift up just the bottom part of the seat and then the top will unhook from those tabs then you'll be able to fold it down without unbolting it so i'm gonna go get my uh my uh sawzall and then cut this off here so we'll see what see how it turns out guys all right guys so we got the chair in the garage here and we are gonna trim that metal right by the plastic there i might take a little bit of the plastic but we'll see so just use your sawzall Put her right. Hopefully, this doesn't tip over here. That's my only concern. Put her right by that plastic. Sweet. That one went easy. Let's do that one. I'm bracing it with my knee. Let's go right up tight to that. I'll probably have to cut this plastic off here too. Make sure you gotta be careful of the seat. Hmm. I might cut that with a Stanley knife, I'm thinking. I took the seat out of the vehicle so I don't get all this metal and uh, plastic and stuff inside the truck. But now we should be able to set these back in there. And uh, they should sit right flat down, down in those uh, clips. And I should be able to take them out without a problem. I'm hoping. Well, let's go find out. Alright guys, we got it in here but uh, we're having a little trouble getting it to clip because this plastic piece keeps hitting here and that one right there so I'm gonna cut them both off with this and then we'll try again all right guys so here's the final result we can still lift the seat up and down and it stays locked you want to lift it up about this far pull forward on here then you can tip it down if I had this forward then I'd tip down all the way which I can show you able to tip it down all the way and get access to a little more storage back here if you want to trim out some of this other stuff you can for more storage space etc then you want to put it back you want to make sure your uh, seat belt here 
is out of the way and you're not hitting it when you fold this up. So just fold it up, hold just barely a little pressure back, you hear it click in, and there you go. So you do have to trim those little uh, plastic tabs off, but yeah, cut them right at the bottom and then just clip those plastic tabs off there and you're solid, still mounted, and you still got access to behind your seat. Way easier, guys. So I'm gonna do the other seat now and get that done. But yeah, no sense showing you guys that because it's the same process. So, all right guys, thanks for watching. Hope you liked the video. Favorite, like, share, and subscribe, and leave a comment. I appreciate it. We'll catch you later.